U.S. students have fallen to 17th in the world in reading and 26th in math. More than 25% of students fail to graduate from high school in four years. For African American and Hispanic students, this number is approaching 40%. States and students spend $3 billion annually to reteach high school classes to college kids. The U.S. has more than 600,000 manufacturing jobs vacant because there aren't enough qualified people to fill them. What a tragedy it is in America today where you have significant numbers of kids that don't graduate at all from high school, and then an equally significant number of students that graduate but have a piece of paper only. They have to take math and English at the high school level again before they start taking college courses. We don't have the luxury of doing this anymore. We need to change our system and high lofty standards are part of that. Common Core State Standards are high and lofty standards for America's students, developed by teachers in a process initiated by governors and state education leaders across the nation. Common Core is amazing to me because Common Core is a bottom-up initiative. It provides a common framework so that anywhere in the country, entrepreneurs, educators, uh, teachers, uh, for-profit, not-for-profit can come together and develop the best learning systems for students. Because what Common Core does is it not only sets the goal that we want our students to have and what they need to know in order to go on uh, to college and career, but it also provides that common definition so that people can now develop good technology, good products, good learning systems, management systems to reach that. Common Core standards are higher standards than what most states have. Uh, there are fewer of them, so teachers could actually teach to the standards. Uh, they require critical thinking skills, a skill that uh, young people will need in order to be uh, successful in this incredibly competitive world that we're moving towards. You have a, a nationwide focus on core fundamental ideas, on deeper conceptual understanding, on raising the bar, on having higher standards, on not just having low expectations for our kids. Um, I, I think it's definitely a, 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 positive, a positive direction. And so these standards, benchmarked to the best in the world, I think, are critical. That doesn't mean we're going to have a national curriculum. It doesn't mean we're going to uh, have a system where Washington dominates uh, the creation of these standards. In fact, these are voluntary standards created by states and, and state school officers all around the country. Helping more students reach higher standards will be a challenge, but technology holds the key to unlocking the full potential of children. Blended and online learning can help by leveraging great teaching, customizing instruction, and expanding options for all students. Parents also understand how critical harnessing technology is to improving student achievement and empowering parents and teachers. A recent survey found that nearly three-fourths of parents were more supportive of higher standards when they learned the new tests aligned with Common Core would be given on a computer and deliver faster results. Personalized learning allows for kids to go at pace. Kids respond to certain kinds of instruction better than others. When we're using digital learning in combination with a classroom teacher, you can put those things together in ways that absolutely match not only the level of the child's learning, but the style of the way that they learn. An unexpected consequence of us adopting a blended learning model was that our kids would actually now be better prepared for the Common Core than many schools across the country where they have students who are not engaging in online technology. Next generation assessments will demand more of our students personalized learning environments will ensure they can reach this high bar. The Common Core is uh, an effort to make sure that we have uh, quality standards across the country for our children in critical thinking, in uh, mathematics, in uh, STEM education, but also in uh, the importance of the skills to simply be able to critically examine a problem and solve it. I think the Common Core is really at the uh, center of education reform to make sure that the whole nation reforms, uh, not just pockets of the nation. To learn more about how technology is improving education and helping students achieve higher standards, visit digitallearningnow.com.